numerous threats are facing the Florida Keys, just like many other of our coastal regions. Out here on Summerlin Key, um, the hurricane of 2017, Irma, devegetated most of the island. And so a lot of the island used to be like the, this, this robust vegetation we can see here, so much so that uh, scouts used to be able to do jungle gym activities on the inside and go from tree to tree to tree without touching the ground. That's not possible anymore. Uh, that, that hurricane, um, was it caused by humans directly? Mm, probably not, but our hurricanes are getting more intense and more, more, more uh, frequent thanks to uh, climate change and all that stuff. We see here in the intertidal lots and lots of sargassum accumulated, naturally occurring alga from the Sargasso Sea but um, becoming way more abundant than it ever has been and spinning out into much of Florida's beaches. Uh, from Miami, everywhere else when we landed, there was all kinds of news stories about folks complaining about the smell. So this stuff smells really sulfurous. This stuff really, um, it smells uh, anoxic. It smells like we had uh, turned up the sediments in some, some very silty uh, wetlands. We smell that three miles off from this island. Um, mangroves totally hammered as well. Um, so we have this huge biomass going into the inner tidal, um, you know, in and of itself smelling, causing problems, but then also just, uh, you know, possibly obliterating some of, and making it a lot harder for some of the critters that live in and on the sand, the sandy beach areas. And here we have a sea turtle nest right here. And uh, so this guy just, just settled in or just nested recently, so that's great, or she did, I should say. Um, and so, uh, uh, with this little one, they were able to make it, but you can see how hard it is for most sea turtles to get in. So that's another uh, example of a, a stressor from um, altered oceanic conditions. Um, and then, of course, uh, we have, so the, the altered vegetation on the island, we have the altered inner tidal here, and then, of course, we have the subtitle. Subtitle, heavily hammered by um, humans. So when scouts used to come out here, you know, 30, 40 years ago, there were staghorn, elkhorn corals out here. Most of that is gone. There is still some seagrass, and there are still a few corals, but stuff is really hammered. Part of that is because people physically damage the reef. Climate change is, is killing our corals. But then also, we've had a huge problem of over-harvesting. So here we see a bunch of conchs and other mollusks, trumpet, uh, other, other um, cool snails. And, uh, you know, this area is very, very productive. And, you know, conch fritters are a popular uh, treat in uh, Key West, which is only about 25, 30 miles from us. Um, so over-harvesting, climate change, uh, physical degradation, all these things are challenges that are leading to an altered coastal zone and an altered Florida. Things aren't dead, things aren't totally gone, things aren't, aren't over, but we need to make some serious changes in all manner of our management and, and societal behavior if we hope to make sure that these keys continue to be here and folks can continue to thrive in, in places like the keys.